guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke. Welcome to my little book nook that I have here on YouTube. I'm so glad that you decided to join us today. I'm so happy to have you here. I just wanted to do like a little um, bookshelf tour today. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a really quick video. My bookshelf is pretty small since I am pretty new to the reading community still. I only got into reading in October of 2022, like really hardcore. I did read here and there a little bit before that, but not too much, um, maybe like one or two books a year. Nothing crazy. I kind of just really want to do this mainly to, of course, show you guys what I have so far. And also, so when I do one next year, I can see how much my bookshelf has grown because my bookshelf, just in the last, like, how many months has it been since October? Like six or something like that? Just in the last six or seven months, this bookshelf has grown so much. I'll, like, insert a picture if I can find one here of, like, when I first got it and what it looked like. It was so tiny! The progress on this guy is just beautiful. Also, like, kind of, like, put, like, um, comparison pictures if you want to see, but I'll also be showing you today so you can see for yourself. I'm super excited to show you guys what I have and uh, see if we have similar tastes, so let me know. I am getting really into fantasy, though, so I feel like this bookshelf is gonna get... This bookshelf is gonna get filled with a lot more fantasy soon. So to start off with my top shelf, my top shelf is actually all the books that I've already read, so no TBRs are gonna be up here or anything like that. These are all fully read except for like two in those. I did DNF, but I want to finish them. I want to finish them. I, yeah, so anyways, technically those are TBRs, but I just didn't want to put them back down here because they just fit well up here anyways. So first we have All the Missing Girls, which is just a book my mom bought me for Christmas one year. I wasn't too into reading it. So I think I gave this one like three, maybe four stars or something like that. It's honestly not that good, but it's all right. So eh. Alice Feeney's Rock, Paper, Scissors, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. All these books that I'm about to mention, like the next six or seven books are going to be all Colleen Hoover because they're all just next to each other. I went on like a Colleen Hoover rampage when I first got into reading. One of the first books that like set off my like reading journey was a Colleen Hoover book, of course. And I didn't even like know about like the Colleen Hoover hype and when I picked up the book. So like I knew of the book, but I didn't know how hyped this, this author was. So I have Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover, which is the best Colleen Hoover book. Try to tell me different. Uh, you can't change my mind. Um, Verity, which is the worst Colleen Hoover book that I read. So it's funny that I put them next to each other. Ugh. It Ends With Us, which was my first Colleen Hoover book that I ever read. It starts with us November 9th, and then we get into the other book that got me into all of this book craze, which is Where the Crawdads Sing, which is the book I actually read first that really got me into like book talk, bookstagram, booktube, all the crazy book stuff. And then that's when I found out when this girl was, like how popular this girl was. Oh my lord. Um, and I also found out the controversy between, like, Delia Owens and all that. But, so yeah, we have Where the Crowd Dads Sing, The Silent Patient, which I literally read this book faster than I've ever read any book. I read it in less than 24 hours, like, one sitting type read right there. Um, Things We Hide from the Light and Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score, Icebreaker, and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder are the two books that I did DNF and... I want to pick them back up. Icebreaker, it just didn't really like hold my attention that well. It actually kind of put me in a bit of a reading slump. Since it's such a hyped book, I do want to give it another chance though, and especially because I do want to read the sequel that's coming out, Wildfire. I believe it's coming out in like October or something like that, so I want to read that. The Good Girl's Guide to Murder, I just didn't finish because I went on a plane and I just never picked it back up when I got off the plane for vacation. And I also spilled coffee on the copy that I have, so I want to get a new copy, and I don't know if that makes me materialistic or something, but yeah, I just want a new copy because I don't want coffee on my book, okay? <laughs> I have The Last Flight by Julie Clark, The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose, The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina, a poetry book, Milk and Honey, which if you were... Uh, middle schooler or freshman <laughs> in like 2014-15 and had Pinterest or Tumblr, uh, then you know what that is. Um, and Go Ask Alice, which is just like a, it's actually a pretty cool book. It's written anonymous, 
anonymously an author claims that it was like a real journal that some high schooler like wrote it's very controversial whether it's actually real or not so who knows but it's a really good book so check it out but definitely check trigger warnings before you read it and then we're gonna move down to my second shelf which is where we get into all the books i need to read i'm gonna do this kind of quick because i do have to go somewhere so i have confessed by colleen hoover which i'm super excited to read the first book in the addicted series which i'm super excited to read as well listen i'm excited to read all of these books if i'm not saying it for every single one I'm excited to read it, I promise. That's why it's on the shelf. Love in Other Words, A Deal by L. Kennedy, Twisted Love by Anna Huang, I Fell in Love with Hope, If He Had Been With Me, The Way I Used to Be, Archer's Voice, Behind Closed Doors, Tell Me Lies, Colleen Hoover's Layla, His and Hers by Alice Feeney, The Girl on the Train, Stephen King's The Shining, Daisy Jones and the Six, The Art of Racing in the Rain, A Little Life, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and then you can't see it over here, but I do have Tomorrow, Tomorrow, and Tomorrow, which I'm super excited to read. The cover for this book is just so cute, and it matches my little tapestry, but yeah, it's so cute. Explain Oh, I didn't like that noise. Let me kind of explain how I have this set up, I guess. So I have... It kind of probably seems a little random, but I have like all my romance right here pretty much. And then I have thriller, mystery, whatever you want to call it here. And then I just have like random life books or just regular fiction right there. And that's kind of how I organize that. And then we'll move down to the third shelf. I believe I'm missing two books on this shelf, so don't mind that. Um, I'm reading them. That's why they're missing. Of course, I have my Akatar series. Most beautiful books I own, bro. Like, beautifully written. The colors, the covers, everything about these books are freaking beautiful. I have A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Frost and Starlight, and I'm currently reading A Court of, uh... Aqua War, A Court of Wings and Ruin. And I haven't bought the fifth book yet, A Court of Silver Flames. I'm waiting to read, um... Aka War and Aka Foss first. And then I have my Cassandra Clare books, which my grandma kindly gave me. I have my Cassandra Clare books. So I have the Clockwork series. I have the Clockwork Angel, the Clockwork Princess, and the Clockwork Prince. These are my grandma's that she let me borrow. There is a mix of like hardcover and paperback because I don't think she really cares. I do. <laughs> I want all my series to be the same and cohesive. And then I have the Shadow Hunter series. I have City of Bones. I'm currently reading City of Ashes, which would go between City of Bones and City of Glass. City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. There's so many other books in this world that I want to pick up so bad as well once I finish these first like 10. Right, let's move down to the next shelf and that's the last shelf. All right, try and work with me on this last shelf. I'm a little squished in here with all these freaking stuffed animals in the back that I can't seem to get rid of, even though I'm not five anymore, but give me one sec. <laughs> oh my God. All right. <laughs> Don't mind my Emily Henry book lovers book just randomly on top of my Harry Potter books. I didn't have anywhere else to put it so that's where it goes my harry potter book stack of course so the first one second one third one fourth fifth sixth seventh and they are covered up a little bit some knacks that i have a little rolling loud wristband and a little postcard that my brother sent me from his job because he got to make postcards so he sent one to me and then i have a plant fake plant because i can't i would kill a real plant anyways and then i have my loki this is like my favorite line of books that I have and it's not even like a cohesive line of books that are supposed to go together but I just think it's so pretty. It's all the first books that I have to the starts of like my fantasy series. So I have the first book in the Throne of Glass series, I have the first book in the Her Inheritance Game series, Shadow and Bone, Six of Crows, The Fine Print, The Poppy War, Shatter Me, and The Blood Trials. So yeah, that's kind of why it's like my favorite shelf because it just has like all those first books of like fantasy series. They just always start off your journey and so I like have a secret love for them even though the first books in fantasy series usually low-key suck, unfortunately, but 
I just have a love for them because they always start you off on your journey and your love for them and stuff like that. Like right now I'm reading Akawar and I really just want to go reread A Court of Thorns and Roses and Akamoth so bad right now. That was my little bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just something little quick that I wanted to get out for you guys and something that I can also look back in um, in the few big... <laughs> Something I can look back on in the future and just kind of like reminisce at how far things have come and stuff like that in a year from now. So I'm super excited to be able to look back on that and just see how far my shelf has come since then. Let me know if we had anything in common, if we like a lot of the same books. I know I don't have too much read, but a lot of the ones that I have on the shelf I'm anticipating to really, really love. So just let me know if we have any like TBRs in common, books that we read in common or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I really appreciate if you checked out and stayed along for the whole ride. It really makes my heart happy when I see people watch like the whole video. I'm like, oh my God, I was actually like entertaining. That's crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. And I hope all of your bookshelves grow this year as well. It's like the best thing that can happen. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Love you. <laughs>